Hi, my name is Kimberly. So I'm gonna go back into the day of my addiction to where Jesus really saved me. My sister was driving. And I'll remember that day I was in high school and I remember this car coming straight towards my door. I yelled, I blacked out. When I woke up, I went through the windshield and I was in a coma. They didn't expect me to live. So it's, I'm a miracle that I'm here today because I was in a coma for at least a week or two weeks. Once I started taking opiates, um, I just couldn't stop. I would take more and more and more. And the more I took, I just thought I could conquer everything till the pills took my life over. Through the car wreck, it left me with anxiety, depression, because I have scars on my face and my body. And when people talked to me, I really thought people were looking at my scars on my face, not to get to know me for who I am. Did I raise my son? Yes. Did he have a good life? No. And that's the most, that's what weighs heavy on my heart, is that my son didn't have a good life, but he always had my mom there. Like one week he would have electricity, or one week he would have water. It was one, he was going without one of the two. But my focus was all my money went to pills, not bills. And then when he was on up, he moved out. Here I was, homeless. Some of my family knew I was homeless, but a lot of people didn't. I lived in the town and they knew there was a woman there in Waverly, Tennessee, woman in the woods that's homeless, that was me. But I wouldn't dare say it was me because I had too much pride. One day after work, I got called to the office. That was the darkest day of my life. That was the news I got. My sister had died of her overdose. She was in rehab too. And um, her one time was her last time. It still hurts a lot to this day. Um, it, it got her. And um, that weighed heavy on my heart because I felt like only if I was there, I was there for money. She'd still be alive, but she's still alive because even though I could save her life, she saved mine. I had to go below rock bottom. They say you have to hit rock bottom. I had to go below, below, below. So I finally just said, there's got to be more to life than this. I knew that's where it was time for me to go get saved. It's never that Jesus ever left me, I left him. He always had his right hand out for me to grab, but I would never grab it. I once had it and I walked away. I didn't love me. I didn't love myself. I didn't love me inside and out. And at the time when I was lost, you didn't want to be around me. I was stuck up. I was judgmental. So, you know, Jesus has saved me so much. I couldn't imagine not having Jesus in my life and being who I am today. Not in a million years did I ever think I'd be sitting right here doing an interview about how Jesus saved me. I never thought I could see the light of the day. But that's where Jesus came in. You never think that it happened to you. And sure enough, if it can happen to me, it can happen to anybody. Now when people talk to me, they might be looking at my scars on my face, but I'm gonna tell you what, it's scars with a beautiful story because I'm alive, I can tell my testimony, and I look at this face. This is called Redeemed.